Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV 45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you do want. NCTV 45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. There's nothing to do. Newcastle and Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on yes, in and around the area on a daily graphics. basis. Program For signs, wraps, banners, printing, Dan Ferry, owner, gives you such quality work, you'll be amazed. Don't be afraid to call him. Office 724 656 4934. Fax 724 656 9320. Sale 724 651 8769. They're located at 1031 Butler Avenue in Newcastle. D. Ferry at NewAgeSigns.com. Today's program was paid for by a grant from Peglitz, Pasta and More, East Washington Street in Newcastle. And take a look. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle, minutes away from shopping, second from a gas station and let's not forget pastries a restaurant and oh yes the schools the majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle Newcastle come by and take a look Hello there, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to News Watch Nightly. As uh, wow, we uh, plow through each and every uh, tidbit of what's going on here, and uh, I don't know how you feel about the rain, okay, but. I'm definitely, uh, I've had enough after a washed out Father's Day and um, it's it's been that, that kind of a uh, time and uh, let's uh, kind of get to the weather first up and um, it's raining now in Newcastle. And uh, currently 73, very humid degrees. Um, I, they have flash flood warning up, and that's going to go till Tuesday night. And uh, I dropped to 70. I I positively am speechless about uh, th this rainy stretch. And it's not going to be good as we move forward and catch Lawrence County forty-five weather. And um, well, let's get right to it. You know, um, some pretty positive things out of Harrisburg lately, and. Uh, I want to take time to mention these. Governor Wolf, well, he was at the White House. And, um, y you know, uh, after all the negativity that uh, sometimes engulfs us, it's good to have 
something positive. Well, Governor Wolf at the White House, and uh, they're talking about the positive, uh, and I want to check my glasses there, the positive job the governor's been doing with training workforce. The White House Roundtable creating a highly skilled and successful workforce, highlighting the commitment to breaking down barriers of employment in Pennsylvania. And um, let's give the governor a hats off on this one. I mean, I've personally witnessed here at NCTV 45 some of his work. He's been doing an excellent job. He's got the programs out there. Now, here's the key. You don't want anybody being left behind in this. So there, there's got to be a making sure that it just doesn't go. Everybody can train these people, and it just doesn't go to one group. There, I said it. Um, hats off, Governor Wolf. You did a great job. Now, um... He stepped up with another thing. Bipartisan, get this, bipartisan health care reform. Right here in Pennsylvania, we got our own exchange. And when there is competition, the price goes down. Just saying, great job on this one, Governor. Today, uh, thanked and commended the House members. House Bill 3 creates a state-based health insurance exchange in Pennsylvania, increasing accessibility to affordable health care and saving money for both the state and the taxpayers. Hey, Governor Wolf, you're on a roll here. It's a good day when I can say I have approached an issue in a bipartisan fashion and accomplished something that increases access to health care while saving Pennsylvanians money, said Governor Wolf. And hey, that's two for two with the governor. I go, I give him three for three on this one and um, he signs a bill to develop CPR curriculum. Why is that important? Oh, just a number of reasons. You never know when a heart attack is going to come. You could be sitting there happy as a pumpkin and then all of a sudden, bang. Well, Governor Wolf, by doing this, by making sure that kids know CPR, that teachers know CPR, and I was in Ohio, and they were teaching CPR years ago. This means if there's ever an emergency case, somebody can step up and perform a life-saving measure. Hats off, Governor Wolf. And, um, Truly spectacular as the governor goes three for three. I, after all the rain, I had to open up with some good news from Governor Wolf, and that did it. Now, continuing on, tomorrow at 10 to 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., June 18th, Job Fair for Exhibitors, Job Training Expo, Career Link. A lot of people going to be there. And uh, they have over 20, 20 uh, employers. Make sure you get there. And I'll give you a reminder on Morning News Watch just in case you forget. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, 
we're on a roll here with uh, a lot of great state news happening and um, you gotta love it now let's take this break and we're gonna go to the Cedar Sports Corner Cedar Sports Corner brought to you by Cedars and get on over to Cedars for some great food and enjoy the game and you know what's great about Cedars you go in there everybody knows you it's like it's like being at home I, I gotta tell you totally enjoy it moreover special thanks going out to Jim Mitko and Sons so uh, since you can't cut the grass might as well get some good food and a cold beverage let's go to the Cedar Sports Corner Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Hey, when you need to get out and have just a little bit of a relaxing afternoon, morning, I got a great idea. Why don't you go play around the golf? And you don't have to go to the big courses, be crowded off. No, go a short drive route right up Route 18 to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, and you'll see Moreland's. A great par 3 golf course, Moreland's. Just right. Well, yes, it's time for the Cedar Sports Corner. And uh, Buccos, they're taking the day off. They're probably wet, waterlogged, you know. Now, if you look at Cleveland, they went down to Texas. They figure, well, maybe we'll dry out down there. And that game is an 8.05 start. Meanwhile, back at home, here's what you got. Philadelphia at Washington. I don't know the Tampa Bay at the Yankees and the <laughs> and Los Angeles, the Anaheim Angels, they're taking on Toronto. Houston's taking on Cincinnati in Cincinnati, and the Mets are playing Atlanta down in Atlanta. Now, when I look at that and I look at the cloud cover, it's cloudy from all the way up in Canada, Lake Sound, all the way down to the Gulf. So those 7 o'clock games, that's going to be an interesting battle. Now, over in Texas you got a little bit of a clearing, so you're probably going to be able to watch the Indians. Boston at 810 is at Minnesota, okay, which that's a maybe. And Miami's at St. Louis, that's also a maybe. Then you go out all the way to the West Coast. Your late games, 10 o'clock starts. San Francisco at Los Angeles, you're going to get that in. Baltimore at Oakland, you're going to get that in. Milwaukee at San Diego, yep, you're getting that in. And let's go, Padres. Kansas City at Seattle, you're getting that in. Because all the way out west, California doesn't have a cloud in the sky. So that was the Cedar Sports Corner Report. And um, here's hoping that... You stop by Cedars, get some great food, and you know what? A nice, great beverage. Now, let's go back to Newswatch. Candy Canes Mini Camp, Saturday, July 6th at 9 a.m., Newcastle Senior High School. Make sure that you mark that date down because, you know, these these things come around as like you can't believe and uh 
it's it's always amazing to me how uh, fast and quick the school the summer ends and uh, it's just it is just really amazing uh, so uh, Becky we got that out for you Canes candy canes mini camp just wanted you to know uh, special thanks here to Billy Joe Fells Marshall for watching NCTV 45 Missy Kalaluka really uh, thank you for the kind comments Brandon Swagger thanks for those comments and uh, wow did you know upgrading your stuff okay Brandon and uh, Fletcher and Doug Solomon thank you George knock thanks for the kind comments uh, and Dennis Styles thanks for joining the NCTV 45 family Christine Heichel thanks for being part of NCTV 45 totally appreciate it and uh, Stephanie Kelly thank you for being part of NCTV 45 now as we climb through and uh, just a whole bunch going on I ask you to remember this that uh, Pennsylvania offering that tax rebate yes there's a tax rebate for older Pennsylvanians and Pennsylvanians with disabilities the deadline to apply has been extended to December 31st and um, they can issue checks though before July 1st so just know that last year 572,000 seniors and people with disability benefited from property rent tax rebate program said secretary Dan Hassel we're extending the deadline again this year because we want to be sure that everyone who is eligible has time to submit their applications so um, yeah you got it they've extended it to the 31st please take advantage of it and whew, the humidity is there and the rain is falling down as uh, it just it seems to be really coming down now steady as it was this morning keeping on with state news Governor Wolf signs an executive order establishing PA employee military service recognition the governor signed an executive order to establish Pennsylvania state military service recognition campaign to annually recognize and thank Commonwealth employees who have served in the armed forces United States Reserves and National Guard it seems especially fitting to sign an executive order he said and he did it on Flag Day the birthday of the Army and he also did it on drawn Donald Trump's birthday so uh, great job there and uh, thanks to all those who served now we've got we got more coming at you but at this point in time I think it's best to go to Lawrence County 45 weather and check this out I don't know how you're gonna feel about this but currently in Newcastle it is 70 humid degrees and uh, if, if you can't even believe 
the the humidity because it is um i know right now in our studios i'm sitting here folks roasting so um why don't we take this break and go to lawrence county 45 weather golf course in newcastle pennsylvania features many amenities lush fairways and great greens and many challenging shots your crowd will applaud a short drive from butler sharon pittsburgh elwood and youngstown it's sylvan heights golf course in newcastle pennsylvania Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Lincoln Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Hello and welcome to NCTV 45 Weather. And, uh, well, I don't know how you're going to like it, but after Monday night, after, this weather's been just incredible. And uh, not in a good way. Monday night's low is 63 and the rain. What are you looking at on Tuesday? Well, I, <coughs> I don't know. I'm all choked up about this. Local radar shows traces of rain to the west to the east. And national radar shows a lot of stuff everywhere. So, your Wednesday, Tuesday forecasts, 74, cloudy, and only a 20% chance of rain. Now, before you throw the New Year's Eve party here, Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, 63, 20% chance of rain. And they're saying there's a slight, I think they're just covering themselves, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms okay you move to wednesday mostly cloudy 78 40 percent chance of rain wednesday night mostly cloudy 65 40 percent chance of rain thursday showers likely cloudy 75 70 percent chance of rain thursday mostly cloudy thursday night 58 30% chance of rain. Friday, partly sunny and 77. I don't know. That's almost too good to be true. Better get out there and enjoy that. Friday night, partly cloudy, a low 58. Saturday, partly sunny and 79. Two days in a row. Time to break up the Yankees. Yeah, Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 62. Sunday, mostly cloudy, 81, ah, 50% chance of rain. Sunday night, mostly cloudy, 63, 40% chance of rain. And then your Monday, cloudy, 79, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. They didn't even say what the chance was. They're just guessing you're going to get wet. So, uh, take the bumper shoot, be prepared, and uh, it's going to be a tricky one. This was Lawrence County 45 weather. We'll be right back after these Standing messages. By my Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Nico and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero Turn Country Clippers, Bain the USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon, 
they'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724 652 6911. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company. Home, residential, commercial, water coolers. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. We're fast. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste. And meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. Welcome back, and uh, let's get back to our news stories. Pennsylvania safeguards 47 farms in 21 counties for a permanent ag production. Now, we, we had told you about this before, that this was passed in order to stop losing agricultural land. Well... This in effect, and what we have is, in Lawrence County, the Edward W. Nicky Farm, 143 crop, acre crop and livestock operation. Now, uh, also in Mercer County, the Mark R. and Maria A. Cannon Farm, 300 point five one acre crop and livestock operation so those those farms saved as um, you know uh, just a good good news now this in from Brent uh, Fiesta de la Sol Friday June 28th 6 o'clock and um, I wish he would have made the typing a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, I believe it's in Pittsburgh. Um, Case San Jose, a Latino resource and welcome center in southwest Pennsylvania, has Fiesta de la Sol June 28th. Uh, at six o'clock. So go to Quesa San Jose dot org for more information. And uh, happy to pass that on to our Latino community. Now um, as we continue, uh, let's hear from these sponsors and we'll be back with a wrap up.
Brandon Cummings, lower operator. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Castle's community television station. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us here. But before we um, just get and get the heck out of here, a flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to a flash flood. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. And reported periods of heavy rain are possible over the next two days combination of prolonged threat of heavy rain and already saturated ground will provide the optimum optimal setup for flash flooding now who is in this uh, flash flood watch well as you go down Lawrence County Beaver County Indiana Okay, they mentioned Manaka uh, that's, you know, already on the map there. So, um, just to give you an idea of how things are, this is what exists. And uh, this is kind of what you got to put up with. It says portions of Western Maryland, Lawrence County, uh, is also included Clarion Butler Beaver Armstrong Allegheny and then Fayette Ridges Green Indiana Jefferson Washington Westmoreland and um, so it's just uh, it's looking rainy 70 degrees in Newcastle rain continuing to fall be aware, be safe, um, and, you know, don't try and drive through a big pond on the road. I mean, that's so, like, crazy, because I know out there on the other side of Mahoning Town, there's a place where it's low, the road closes, and inevitably somebody thinks, well, that means let's drive through the pond. You know, and uh, then that's not a good thing. Um, now it's actually raining with a little sunshine. And I mean, the rain's coming down just like if it was cloudy. So uh, just really unbelievable. Uh, John Sarandria, hope you're feeling better in our thoughts and in our prayers. Uh, make sure that you stay healthy there, big guy. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. During uh, the month of June, when we had our conversion, and, uh, you know, the skies were black. It, uh, it was a little scary. As uh, we went through some things just happening. I mean, uh, but that's the way it was. And... Uh, then um, the skies cleared, and uh, we're into a situation now that doesn't take us as much time. And uh, we can get our programming out there faster. And uh, we received a letter uh, from a, a, a great person. Um, Hi, keep up the good work. Anything uh could and I, I better put my glasses on because I have to keep up the good work anything you could do to uh, that appreciated it's crossing paths ministry we're going to put 
Don Reed back on. He will be on at our 10 o'clock slot, and I will make sure that uh, he sent us uh, this nice little DVD, the Don Reed story. And uh, great guy, Newcastle guy, talks about uh, a little bit of recovery. And uh, finding God and doing the right thing. So, uh, great thing there. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Make sure that as you go through this evening and you watch the rain come down, make sure you tell a friend. And have a friend tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, oh, I don't watch that much television, Tell them when CTV 45, the train, is available any time on your time. A train that runs on your schedule, what could be better? And convenient, too. You don't need all that big fancy equipment. So, um, other than that, guys, make sure that you have a very pleasant evening. And uh, make sure you get that second cup of coffee, maybe lemonade. I don't want to say anything about water because uh, you'll be you'll be water drowned. And have a just a beautiful evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening, all, and we'll see you again real soon. Got my ticket for the midnight plane. It's not easy.